straight to the egg whites. I'm like, damn, bro, I'm thirsty. Let me go get me some egg whites. I am indeed cutting steak up on a, uh, whatever you want to call this thing. Okay. They said we ain't moved like that in fucking months, son. What are you thinking? What's going on, guys? So, uh, I got a professional baseball tryout in two months, and I was, uh, excuse me, I was weighing an astounding 224 pounds. That was like five days ago. I should have weighed myself and got that on video, but I'm just gonna pretend like I did, and you can catch you guys up where I'm at right now. And the diet is this simple. Steak, no seasoning, no sauce, no nothing, and freaking drinking egg whites with chocolate syrup. That's the only thing I'm putting inside his body. And so I'm 205 pounds and absolutely shredded up. So this is gonna be probably the intro to this shit. I'm gonna keep you guys updated every day. I'm gonna start taking videos of me just doing this. Hello. I'm gonna have to clean that up now. Uh, so yeah, let me show you guys the new setup at work. So what do you guys think? Little freaking clubhouse actually got the sled right here. We got the freaking the dumbbells, the freaking I mean the dumbbells are right here. How silly. Kettlebells, don't use kettlebells, weighted bowls. Got a little bench thing over here. Trampoline for me to jump on when I get bored. So we're gonna be getting in that work every day until I go get me a professional baseball contract. So uh yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh we're about to see these gains coming in, baby. It's time to get shredded. What is going on? It's, uh, I want to say day three or four. The liquid egg white drinking and steak only eating diet. And I'm feeling pretty shredded up for, uh, for it only being however many days it's been. It's been three or four. So let's step on the scale and see where we're at. Um, remember, we started at 224. And I've been doing two workouts a day and one long ass cardio session a day, plus my baseball training. So you gotta think, you gotta think I've been burning a shit ton of calories and not eating too many. But at the same time, I've been keeping my protein and take about 280, 320 grams of protein, somewhere in there. So let's step on the scale and see what we're looking like. Don't mind my toes. They're long, it's weird. Too done. Well, so I'm starting to think about it. Whenever I was 224, I probably had a full ass tummy of foods and liquid and a piss and fat shit. So you could say I probably realistically started around like 220, 221. So we're 10 pounds down in four or five days or three days. I gotta think. It's been at least, yeah, no, it's been at least four days. So this is probably morning five. So what I'm gonna do right now is, since I don't have my tripod out, I'm just gonna set you guys down right here. And I'm gonna go like this. And if you guys haven't hopped on this shit yet, you're absolutely fucking crazy. Like, if you can get out of the idea of like, I'm drinking egg whites, ew, gross. And like, literally just do it, it's not that bad. I swear to you, bro, like this shit, if I had to give this drink a ranking, right, and say like a yummy coffee is a nine, I'd give this shit a 7.8. Like, it's right there. It's right fucking there, dog. It's right there. Like, this shit tastes good. It's not like a, oh, it tastes all right, I can do it. It's like, no, I look forward to this shit. I just woke up, and it's fucking straight to the egg whites. I'm like, damn, bro, I'm thirsty. Let me go get me some egg whites. It ain't even water. I ain't even have water yet. It's straight to the egg whites. I'm about to go do some explosive stuff. I got some jumps and sprints I'm about to go do. Probably gonna video a few of those cause uh, I just paid $600 for my professional baseball tryout. So now I really gotta get on the every every aspect of my fucking baseball. Hitting, um, throwing, being explosive sprints, facing life pitching, I gotta get on, I gotta get on a whole new level of fucking training baby. So and then I'm gonna go hit some legs at the gym. If I do anything cool, I'll probably video it. And then after that, we're going golfing. And best believe, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of my golfing skills today, all right? So uh, I'm gonna catch you guys out on my sprints and my freaking jumps. This is the uh, field that I always practiced uh, football at and soccer when I was in high school. My high school was right down the road. 
So I'm about to stretch a little bit in this jaw, so I'm pulling nothing. And then I'm going to get to doing me a few sprints, a few broad jumps, maybe some one-legged stuff. And uh, I hope you guys are having a good day. If you're still trying to be athletic and be able to run whenever you're like 35, 40, 50 years old, I recommend doing this shit like it's normal, even though to the vast majority of human beings, it is not normal. Ooh, I had some sprints yesterday and I can tell my old quads are sore. They said we ain't moved like that in fucking months, son. What are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking it's fucking game time, baby. It's fucking game time, baby. Oh. So, yeah, I want to fucking pull that bitch like... Yeah, I guess I'm just going to make this video like a good amount of time long and uh, see how see how we're looking, you know, at the end of the week with all the clips I've got. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to go, but uh, I'll probably fast forward a few jumpies and fucking sprints here. And then I'm going to catch you guys at the motherfucking golf course. Nice. All right, so the wind is not in our favor here. No stretch, straight off the gym. See what a fuck goodie. All right, let's slice this one to the fucking the next town over. T-bag. So, uh, just got done golfing the 16 holes. I only played 16 because I got to go to work. And I got to make sure I get my steak in before I starve all day. So, this is kind of how I make my steak. I got this little cool thing you plug into the wall. Heats it up. There's some prongs that are right here. Booyah. Stove on the go if you need it to be. Uh, so, yeah, basically, I don't use any seasoning. I just use... This olive oil right here, so it doesn't stick to the old pan. And I whip it up. But yeah, this is how I do this. Two, three times a day, along with my egg whites and chalky syrup. So that's where we're at right now. And I'm weighing 211 pounds on day, I'm gonna say day four or five of the steak and egg white only diet. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I'll probably catch you guys again when I'm drinking the egg whites at work. You heard? My crackers. Saltines. So, I don't know if I told you guys I was going to catch you when I was eating the egg whites or not. But I didn't eat the steak in my house. So, that's what I'm doing right now. Me and my buddy Trey are about to throw in here. I might video me hitting a little bit. And, uh, first time seeing live at bats in a little while. If you know what that is, it means... If you don't know what that is, it means a pitcher... And me hitting live, like game style, you know, hitting for you non-baseball players. Uh, yeah, this steak tastes like pure nothing but meat. Like Tyrone, pure meat. Uh, my energy levels are kind of low because I haven't had much fucking many carbs going in my body. I've had fats from the steak and... There's no fats or carbs in the uh, egg whites, but I guess the chocolate syrup has a little bit of carbs, so there's that. Um, I don't know why I'm doing no seasoning, to be honest. If I could so put salt and pepper on here, it'd be perfectly fine. I think I'm going to do that next time, because fuck this. I don't know how you want to describe this. I guess I should kind of say, like, a, an extremist. Like, when I'm doing something, I want to do it as hard as freaking possible, which I think... Could be a toxic trait of mine to myself, at least. Not to other people, but to myself. I'm trying to find a balance between going ridiculously hard and then enjoying life a little bit. You know? 
because we're gonna die eventually, so I might as well like enjoy this fucking place while I'm here. What's up, guys? So I'm about to fucking finish eating this fucking steak, and I'm gonna hit some fucking baseballs. So I'll catch you guys when I'm around smacking that shit. Get okay. So I know you can't see me for like shit right now. Hey, there we go. But uh, day six of my steak and egg only diet. And um, I'm feeling good. My energy levels are up a little bit more than yesterday. So it's about 5.30 right now. I'm about to go get a run in, just kind of have a shower. Probably should have done that the opposite way. I probably should have ran and then showered, but I might have to run that shower back. Maybe not, I might just be a nasty bitch today. We got a tournament to coach. Uh, we got the 11 year olds, so I'm about to go on this run. Just want to update you guys. I haven't weighed myself today. If I weigh myself today, I'll let you guys know what it is. I'm guessing it's probably like 209, 210, same shit. But anyways, I'm about to go touch a bunch of 11, I mean, fuck. I'm about to go talk to a bunch of 11 year olds about how to get better at baseball. Kobe. I am, in, I am indeed cutting steak up on a, uh, Whatever you want to call this thing. Okay, so I drank egg whites this morning and it usually doesn't mess with my stomach. But right now I want to be in the fetal position. You know what I'm saying? That feeling. I woke up, drank my, my eggs with sugar-free chocolate syrup, which tastes just as good as sugar-free or sugar-filled, I should say, syrup. Both taste the same. One just tastes like diet chocolate milk. The other one tastes like yummy chocolate milk. Same shit though. Then I went on a little run, got some stretching in, soaked in uh, the beautiful morning that God presented to me out on the road out there with the nice fog and the nice sky with the sun coming up a little bit. This is a great way to start my day. I am in a freaking fantastic mood. But I just kind of wanted to show you like the shit I do in order to make sure like I get done what I need to get done. Like I make no fucking excuses. If that means cutting up fucking steak on a dirty ass AC thing and cooking it on a machine that I plug into a freaking outlet, then that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do it 10 out of 10 times. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta prep my food for today's, for today's game because I know we're gonna be at the baseball field for like six freaking hours. And I'm not down to starve today. So just wanna kinda show you guys what I got going on. Uh, I didn't bring any seasoning, so we're gonna be raw dogging it again. Taste buds are gonna be shot by the end of this one. So I'm guessing by the way I'm feeling when I was running today, I felt a little lighter than normal. So I might be creeping up around 208, 209. And once I hit 205, I'm gonna go back to my regular diet. So however long this takes, it could be another two, three days of me eating just steak and egg whites. But uh, I think it'll be worth it. And I'd highly recommend this shit. Like for one, my energy levels are absolutely through the roof, which is weird because of lack of carbs. There was one day where I could tell my, I guess my body was just like trying to make the adjustment that like I felt like fucking all oh, my stomach. Yeah, so bro, when you eat so fucking healthy and your body has no fucking additives, fucking preservatives, fucking chemicals from processed foods in your body, you fucking, you feel like, I want to say like half of godly almost, bro. Like you feel completely different. And then once you stop eating all this processed food and shit, you kind of realize like how you're supposed to feel as a human being. And then once you eat processed foods again, you can tell that shit makes you feel like fucking ass. Where the regular person just feels like fucking ass all the time. And they wonder why they're depressed and they wonder why they have no motivation and they wonder all these crazy ass things. Well, it's easy. You are what you fucking eat. So anyways, I'm gonna finish cutting up this steak. I'm gonna throw it on the grill. And then I'm gonna slap a video back on here, probably at the baseball field, when I'm eating this shit coaching first base. So, yo, I encourage you to eat this fucking steak and egg white only diet, especially if you're trying to lose weight and get shredded for the summer. Let's fucking go. Don't know what's going on. 
My left arm is in some fucking extreme pain right now. The only thing I can guess is that it's from fucking yesterday's single arm deadlifts. I must have fucking strained some shit like in my tricep, dude, because I don't know. I was just trying to work out and I got a pretty high pain tolerance. And I had to cut that one fucking short after 30 minutes. So that's super fucking depressing. I hope that gets better with some fucking ibuprofen and something else. Because that bitch right there, bro. Oh my god, that motherfucking arm hurts, bro. So bad. So what I'm about to do right now is try to restrain from punching something. Now I'm going to go on a run now. So I guess I'll show you guys the physique after the run, not in the gym. Because I had to get out of that gym because I wanted to fucking slam something against something. You know? Do you know? Like, whenever you get mad, you just want to you fucking need to hit something. That's how I feel right now. This shit hurts. So, without further ado, I'm going to stop being a bitch now. And I'm going to go run about 10 miles to release this fucking frustration. Bye. When you fucking get tired, bro, you're only about 40% done with your energy, bro. You got so much more to fucking give. Push yourself. Be better than you were yesterday. And keep fucking going. I just got done running my, uh, it was probably like eight freaking miles I just ran. My shoulder and arm feels a little bit better. Turns out my brother's got kidney stones, so I had to run to Old Publix and get him some kombucha, some drinks, and some lemonade. And I also got me some, uh, guacamole. So when I get home, I think I'm about to make me some steak, guacamole, a little salsa, and maybe some Greek yogurt and a little tortilla wrap. We're gonna break the egg white and steak diet. Or whenever we get home, we're gonna step on the scale and see the final results and see how seven, eight days of just egg whites and steak done did me. I definitely think that I lost a good amount of fat. My veins are sticking out a little bit more. I weigh less, that would be a sure tell indicator that I have lost weight. So yeah, we're heading back home now. I just helped a, I don't know if he was telling me the truth, but anyways, he gave me a little story about why he needed gas money at the gas station. So I gave some homie 10 bucks to get him on to where he's going. So yeah, man, if you, uh, I think money is like energy, right? It comes and goes. And if you're a kind of person that attracts money, don't be the kind of person that freaking is stingy with it. You know, cause I mean, I feel like in this world, what you give out, you uh, get back. So do something nice for somebody today, be a good person, and give every day everything you freaking got. Before I go inside and indulge in those freaking burritos I just made, this is the physique. After uh, seven, eight days of the freaking fast I just did, I don't know if this lighting is gonna do me much justice. Probably not. A little before and after or some shit. I don't know. So, I don't know if you guys can see the legs. But yeah, so, um, oh yeah, I'll catch you guys inside. I'm going to show you how much I weigh, and then that's going to be that. So, there's that. Uh, lost a solid 12 pounds in a week from eating just eggs and steak. And the strength went up. My squat went from a 405 or four, I did 455 on a box squat to 505. And my single arm bench went from 120 pounds to 135 pounds. So I lost 12 pounds and my strength went up. Hashtag protein for the win.